Speak the word of God over your life, and see the miracle of God in your life. Have you tried many things and none have given you the results you desire? Well, there is one thing you have not tried. Or you might have tried it but might not have done it correctly. And that is proclaiming it in a godlike manner. A confident declaration that our expectations will be fulfilled is a very powerful tool for manifesting our desires. And the Word of God teaches us to do so whenever we wish to create or manifest our desires. You will also declare a thing, and it will be established for you, so light will shine on your ways. Job chapter 22, verse 28. That was the same technology that God employed in the creation of the world. Because the world was also created with His Word. And God teaches us to continue the works of creation through the same medium He has used. The earth was without form, and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Genesis chapter 1, verses 2 and 3. That was how God created the world and manifested the word of His imagination. The scriptures made us understand that these things were written for us to learn and do. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 16. God has shown us how He created the world and desires that we continue in the same manner for future creation. Including in the creation and manifestation of our needs and desires. This was evident in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, when he said, Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. That was God, giving us the authority and mandate to carry on the works of creation. Just like he had shown us. Where and when he declared, let there be light, and light manifested, and even so, He has taught us to also use our mouth to create what we desire and also uproot what we do not want. So if you want to see it, you have got to say it boldly. Say to them, As I live, says the Lord, just as you have spoken in my hearing, so I will do to you. Numbers 14 28 So far as it is to be done, you must speak it. Worry, anxiety and fears do not have solutions. Only God-like bold declaration of faith has your solutions. You need not worry about how it is going to be done. Leave that to God, yours is to declare it in faith, and you will see God bring it to pass. Jesus says in Mark 11:23. For assuredly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Can you see that? That's all God asks of you. For Him to bring your heart's desires to fruition, you have to say them and know without doubt about their materialization. And leave the rest to God. We know that God is always true and faithful, never reneging on His promises. Let not your heart be troubled, you believe in God, believe also in me. John 14 verse 1 All you have to do is believe, keep saying it, Keep declaring it in faith, and God will make it happen. As we pray, I see that your long-awaited desires have been fulfilled. In the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Repeat these prayers after me before I pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for the grace to be alive and to witness a time like this. Forgive me for the times that I have despaired and made wrongful confessions, instead of creating my desires with my words. Forgive me also, dear Lord, for the times that I have swayed in unbelief instead of believing in you and making bold and rightful confessions. Lord, I am truly sorry, forgive me. And dear Lord, I withdraw all the negative confessions and utterances that I have made against myself, my family, my household, and my loved ones. For dear Lord, I made them in error and ignorance. Therefore, dear Lord, I seek your forgiveness as I withdraw the erroneous and unguided confessions. In the name of Jesus Christ. And dear Lord, also restore my grace, glory, dignity and fortunes. 
and all that the enemy has stolen from me because of my unguided and uncomplimentary confessions. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Now I pray for you. Dear Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for all my listeners and everyone listening to me here and now. Lord, I decree and declare in faith for them that everything about them be made perfect in accordance with your desire for our perfection. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I declare that it is well with them, their families, and their households. Let your goodness and mercy follow them all the days of their lives and in all they do. In the name of Jesus Christ. Cause them to always abide in faith in you and in your word. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let their homes, marriages, and children be blessed. Bless their going out and their coming. In the name of Jesus Christ. Like the psalmist, I declare for them. The Lord shall be their shepherd, they shall not want of any good thing of life. Lord, make them to lie down in green pastures, lead them beside the still waters. Restore their soul and lead them in the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Lord, though they walk through the valley of the shadow of death, cause them not to fear, as no evil shall befall them, for thou art with them. Let goodness and mercy follow them all the days of their lives. Let them continue to dwell in your house, O Lord, forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. By your stripes, Lord Jesus, let them be healed, free and deliver them from all diseases and afflictions of the enemies, the devil and his cohorts. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Heavenly Father, restore to my listeners all they have lost through the wrongful use of their tongues. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, make their tongues a source of blessing for them from now on. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, dear Lord, for answering, for in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayer, we appreciate it. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Also, our team will appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends on social media. Are you new here? Subscribe and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.